Hey, this is Josh from Trilobite Studios. And this is Carl. And today we're going to be discussing one of uh, our probably most awkward topics is hating the hybridized animals from the Jurassic Park series. I, I, only th I think the only awkward thing about this conversation is going to be some of these designs. It's like oh, definitely, because they are definitely hybridized, like, movie monster-esque creatures. Like, There's no, uh, like, how on earth is this thing even exist? Well, my whole reason that I hate hybrid dinosaurs, and this is kind of going to be like a spoiler... <laughs> I guess for the rest of this the discussion is because there's no reason to create them and when we say hybrid dinosaurs we mean the dinosaurs that are being crossed with the other dinosaurs from the Jurassic Park franchise we know that the that all the dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park franchise are technically hybrids because you know they they have frog DNA and cuttlefish DNA and all kinds of other different DNA but we're talking about things like stegoceratops or like the Indominus Rex or like the the Indoraptor hybrids like that yeah, uh, in canon now, there's three. Right. And it's the Indominus, the Indoraptor, and the Scorpius Rex. Right. Uh, Stegoceratops got cut from the original, the first Jurassic World movie. Thank God. Um, and most of the hybridized animals are either from comic books or video games. Yeah, honestly, like the, uh, especially, um, the Jurassic <clears throat> World Alive franchise and, uh... Jurassic World, the game. Yeah, Jurassic World, the, the park builder simulator. Um, I, my whole reason that I hate hybrid animals is because they, there's just no use for them. They're just movie monsters. They took a concept that could have been so cool in theory, you know, like making a hybrid dinosaur and they just messed, they just dropped the ball on it so hard because all the designs are honestly kind of boring. Like all the, all the canon designs. Yeah, like, they definitely went with a more, uh, con like conservative, uh, look to it because they didn't have, you know, the spikes and colors and all that, uh, crazy adornments that you see in the video games. But here's the thing. The Indominus Rex out of all of them or is the best one yeah oh yeah absolutely no, no i'm not even disagreeing i i really like the indominus rex because in terms of like a movie monster but well the original uh whole premise of how they got to the indominus rex in at least making of the movie was it was going to originally be a undiscovered species of large carnivore from asia okay and then that somehow transpired to, hey, let's make it just a hybrid of just a T-Rex and hybrid. everything else. Yeah, I, I just, hybrids, they just feel so redundant and they feel so forced. Like at this point, it's almost like, okay, what's the new hybrid going to be in this movie? Especially with like, with uh, Fallen Kingdom, the, the Indoraptor, it's just such a silly, it's just so silly. The concept of like, not only did they go back for like the Indominus Rex's like tooth in order to rib. rib in order to make the indoraptor but then they like crossed it with more stuff and like sleek the design down i just it feels like it's moving more and more away from like actual science and paleontology which on obviously you know none of the movies really were that scientifically accurate or well the first one was second one for its was time good. yeah the rest of them just kind of went downhill yeah and time. so and that and then after that it's just kind of like it really just feels like a monster. They just feel like movie monsters. They don't feel like actual animals. I think that... Okay, because, like, honestly, if dinosaurs were alive, like, right now, you wouldn't need to make a hybrid animal to draw people in. You would have people coming in every single day. Wasn't that Lowry's whole uh, point on the hybrids? Was it? Yeah, he goes, like, why why need uh, hybrids when you have dinosaurs, actual dinosaurs? Yeah, honestly. I, <clears throat> I think uh, Owen even made the point. Too. Yeah, it's just they—they—they're just movie monsters. That's really all they are, and they're just using the hybrid. Well, they're not just movie monsters. They make uh, good toys and that's uh, true. Pad, you know, pockets. But they—they—they're using the hybrids as as the movie monsters, you know, because it, the dinosaur like dinosaurs are. It, I I guess they were trying to get away from it because like dinosaurs eating people are just like too cliche is too cliche now because I mean, of how many movies of that right oh, yeah. exactly i, so, I guess it's kind of getting a little stale so i guess that's why they tried to make the but it just feels like they're trying to make an excuse to make something scarier on screen or like cooler looking on screen 
and it's just it's just not you know the weird thing is with jurassic world dominion coming out and it's supposedly having no hybridized animals uh and again to alliterate carl's uh, point was hybridized animals with more than one dinosaur genome right uh it feels more uh authentic of a, as a movie than you know the last two jurassic world films because yeah. there's no hybrids right so it feels like oh it's a refresher it's like no it's the same stuff we got back in the 90s it's just it's just this with, time without, without the, the hybrids the stupid hybrids they're just it's just so dumb i i know i keep saying that it's so dumb and i'm not really giving any reasons but i i, I think well i've given a couple of reasons well you give your thoughts on it you didn't really give a full-on reason so okay what's one of the one of, what's one of the reasons that you dislike the hybrids um one is they're most of the hybrids are extremely badly designed yeah uh the scorpius rex i do not like the design on it um the indoraptor or the yeah the indoraptor i do not like the design um the indominus even though yes it does look more like a just standard ther uh theropod animal um there are some problems i think with it uh, especially for what it's supposed to be uh you know like the super carnivore with everybody uh putting a little bit of effort into it like the the t-rex the velociraptor the giga the conotaurus and all this other stuff for what it they mostly threw at into it it doesn't really purvey any of that no no it really um doesn't. it just looks like a white like to the average viewer it just looks like a white t-rex with three fingers pretty much yeah yeah it's just a giant white t-rex with three fingers yeah it's rudy from ice age it <laughs> it's rudy from ice age. it's it's rudy from ice age no it's i think another reason that i really dislike the the hybrid idea is because it takes something that was so it really tries to drive like a political message too and that's something that i'm getting really sick and tired of like watching in my movies i know there's always been like political message subtle political messages in a lot of movies right but now it seems like they're using the hybrids, especially in in Fallen Kingdom, as a way to drive home the whole like, ooh, people are evil, people want to use these things just as weapons the whole time. Like we got that in the first Jurassic World too, with like Hodgkins wanting to use the Velociraptors as weapons. But it it was absolutely just like drilled into your head in the in Fallen Kingdom, and it's just like, it, it's it's just like, come on, please stop. Like, I just want to watch a movie about dinosaurs eating people. Is that so hard to, like, give me anymore? Like, honestly, like, I Apparently, guess. I, I guess so. One thing that I do quite care for is the... Even though we didn't ever actually seen it, but the Sinoceratops, the original model, I think it would actually have uh, made a little more sense because it would have brought in Nasutoceratops into the story sooner. Yeah. Um, because if you look at the head, it's clearly in the suit of Ceratops. It's not a Triceratops. Right. Um, but the way, <clears throat> sorry, but the way they, they cut it out and then, you know, here comes the suit of Ceratops in the battle of Big Rock. It's completely like, where's this guy come from? Yeah, honestly. It, it... So some of the hybrids, they make sense in a story, uh, lineage, of introducing new animals into the story like actual dinosaurs into the story but when you cut those parts out and you just have the hybrid with no explanation of okay where's this where's the other stuff for it 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 just kind of feels like it's only half a story yeah it just feels kind of empty too i i don't know i just think the i just think hybrid dinosaurs are lazy okay but now if you were to take these for some other video game or something, not sure. for the Jurassic World, what would your favorite hybridized creature look like or be? Um, honestly, none of the ones that we've got. Because if I want to see like a hybridized creature, I want to see something that's just a mess. I want to see something that looks crazy, something that looks like really cool, something that looks like somebody just kind of glued, of, almost like the Stegoceratops, because it literally looks like they just glued some. You know, some uh, they look like they cut the head off of one animal and just yeah, glued and just it glued other. it to the other. But like, uh, I, I I don't know. I would want to see something just cooler, something that looks like an abomination. Have you ever seen the Ultimasaurus? Ultimasaurus? Yes. Is that the one with the? Uh, it's got like the. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's look this up. This real is quick. from the. It's right here. 
This is from the original, uh, like, right after the Lost World toy line. Oh, man. It It's a T-Rex with a Triceratops head, Ankylosaurus uh, back plates, and I think it even has Stegosaurus Stagomizers with a raptor claw. Wow. I mean, is that exactly what you were thinking so, of I throw mean, shit together? I mean, sort of, but, more, but like, cooler. Where it looks like it, like even just like being alive, it's in like pain. You know what I mean? I think that was the original uh, whole premise for the Indoraptor, but they cleaned it up, so right? It could, so it doesn't look like it's a, a walking scrap pile. No, I would want something more like where it looks like, oh my god, this thing's existence. It just shouldn't exist because, like, even with a lot of the hybrid animals that look out of the, this world, like the Ultimasaurus, which is I honestly had never seen that before. But even with, like, animals like that, it, it still looks like, okay, you know, maybe this could work. It looks like something from Monster Hunters. Yeah, it looks like something from Monster Hunter. I would like to see something that just looks, like, disgusting, honestly. That just looks so messed up, like, everything about it doesn't work. Because that's not how genetics work, you know? Like, you can't just, like, get... I mean, yes, you can make something, like, grow certain features... But that you doesn't, don't know how they're going to that doesn't mean or, that's uh, interact with that feature. Yeah, like, you can give them the genotype, but that doesn't always reflect what the animal's going to look like in the phenotype, or how it's going to, how that genotype is going to be reflected in the phenotype. Yeah. So, like, you could give something spines, or give it quills, or give it claws, or whatever you want to give it in the genotype, but you have no idea if it's actually going to display that way in the phenotype, if it's just going to look like it, like somebody glued the head onto... A different animal you don't know how it's gonna look it might display in a completely different way like you might want it to grow claws out of its hands it might grow claws out of its back you know at that point why don't they just be spikes they wouldn't actually be claws well no let's say let's say you specifically engineer it to have like how about a sail you you specifically engineer it to have a vertebra sail okay. so but instead of displaying the sail as like a full sail it comes out as like weird like spine like Oh, kind of like uh, uh, how people think the Metrodon looks like now. Yeah, it's how just like yeah, how people used to think without uh, a full sail. Right. Which, but, to be honest, that looks creepy as hell. Oh yeah, so that's what I mean. That's what I would want to see in a in a hybrid Especially dinosaur. Especially since now that we think they're like fur we're furry, so it looks like a giant rat with a spine with uh, just a these spikes coming out of their back. <laughs> That, that'd be creepy as hell. That that, that, that's the, the Morphodon that we need in uh, Jurassic World right there. Honestly, yeah. That that would. There's your horror monster right there. So, like, if you're going to go with a hybrid dinosaur, give me something creepy. Don't give me, like, a lazy design, like, you know, where you literally just take the head of a Triceratops and glue it onto the body of, its, of a Stegosaurus. Give me something really messed up looking, I guess, is what I'm saying. Because, honestly, I feel like a lot of the designs are kind of lazy. Because they just take the coolest parts of the dinosaur and then slap it onto each other. And that's not how genetics really work. Um, I think the closest one for me would probably be the Scorpius Rex. Because that one, it looks like it its looks existence like, just is hell. Yeah, the Scorpius Rex um, definitely looks more like the, I guess, painful creature that you're thinking of. Yeah, but it's still not quite there yet. No... No, yeah, it definitely wasn't there because the way I see it, I would have wanted it to be like constantly like I have like a nervous tick like or shattering or like or something that conveys pain, not right. just like a killing spree monster. Right. But something to actually makes it look like this thing is a nervous wreck. Yeah. Of an animal. Though what it was supposedly being made out of actually, uh, makes a lot of sense you know you have the Conotaurus head yeah i don't see where the t-rex fits in i think they just do i guess it. that was for like size but it was still like it was still size. like yeah Conotaurus size maybe they put the t-rex in just for like bite power like jaws. but it has that bulldog head so right I which don't is more really like no Conotaurus. Where, yeah i don't really know where the t-rex fed in but you can clearly see where the raptor parts are yeah uh with the hands and feet uh the tree frog was in pretty much in all the animals. Yeah. And the scorpion's uh, fish is not only in the name, but also in the venom that it produces. Right. Which I still don't like how they did the venom. How they shoot. Yeah, what shoots it shoots quills. quills. 
And I'm like, wait a minute, what? It's like a it's like a porcupine in the fifties cartoon. Pretty much. Where it just like pulls a bow and arrow out and shoots a quill. That's a D and D reference right there. Oh, is it? I'm pretty sure there's oh, a I, I, porcupine I, uh, humanoid creature in D and D that oh, probably. I, does I don't that. really know. Um. I don't know, hybrids just, they always sat weird with me, like, I was fine with it in the, uh, in, like, Jurassic World, because it felt almost like a natural progression, it felt like, okay, you know what, maybe in real life, if, if dinosaurs had been around for, you know, and 10 it, years, if Disney had, fought, um, you know, was the one running the park, <laughs> right, or if, like, if dinosaurs had been around for, like, five years, 10 years, and people are starting to get bored of it. Park attendance gets low. So, okay, how do we drum up more business? Well, we make something that people have never seen before. So it, it felt like a natural progression. But after that, you know, because they, they built the Indominus Rex to be like the the showpiece, right? It's like what? the showboat. But after that, then you start getting into that like political message of like, people are only doing this because they want to use animals as weapons. Don't do that. That's bad. And it's just like... Get over yourself. You're a Jurassic World movie. You're not a you're, political movement. You're yeah. You're yeah. You're you're not a political movement. You're not that important. Get off your high horse. Just be a movie. Uh, the one thing is like when they made Jurassic World, you know, they made the Indominus Rex, and that was pretty much it. And then you know, years later, we have the Indoraptor and now the Scorpius Rex that is supposed to be taking place before the end. You right. know, it's like, you guys had a golden ticket idea, and now you're trying to divide it into three things. It's like, no, it doesn't work that way. Or even that, they're just, like, over overusing the idea now. Like, every time we're, like, supposed to be afraid of something new in, in a movie, we know it's a hybrid, you know? Well, usually, or like, yeah, up, it up comes until... out to, um, you know, like, with the toys and everything, it's like, oh, this is the new hybridized animal. Right. Like, like as soon really? as, as soon because I only watched the first season of Camp Cretaceous, and so as soon as they got or maybe it was season two, I don't I don't remember where they like found the the th like the cryo chamber that uh, was that at the end of season one or season that two? was the end of season two. Okay, so I watched up until the end of season two, and like as soon as I saw the cryo chamber, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a hybrid in there, and they're gonna yeah. retcon it. Ret they're gonna retcon it in in some stupid way, and I was right. Yeah, because it was completely a stupid retcon. Yeah, like we talked about this in a different video, but like. I think it was the uh, Bioluminous Parasaurolophus video that, uh, with the Camp Cretaceous that yeah. we talked about um, how a park could easily make newer versions of animals without going to hybridize. Rabbit. Yeah, without even making a monster. And we also talked about, like, in the first Jurassic World, there's a very specific line from Simon Masrani, which he's like, I didn't know you were creating monsters in my lab. And that was when he no, saw he said, the I Indominus didn't Rex. Ask for a monster. He goes, I'm, uh, you know, can. To a canary, a cat's a monster. You're just used to being a cat. Well, no, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he's, he also said something along the lines of, like, when he first confronts Dr. Wu, he's like, I didn't know you were doing this. And then we, then it got retconned, where he was like, he had, like, signed off on the Scorpius Rex or some shit. And no, he didn't, he told him to drop the project, but yet here we are, like, a few years later, and he's like, here's the Indominus Rex. And it's like, wait, like, wait, but wait, I, I already told you not to do this, and you're still doing it, so. Yeah, it's like, wait a minute. It's just lazy, it's, it's lazy writing, they're lazy designs, the designs aren't even that cool. If you wanted to go the hybrid route, just go freaking, just, just go crazy with it. That's Pretty my, much. that's I, my logic. I mean, like, don't hold back. Uh... Originally, Jurassic Park 4 was going to have, like, humanized, hybridized dinosaurs. I don't want to get that crazy. I mean, like, how crazy do you want to go, That though? sounds honestly terrible. Oh, the designs were bad. Yeah, I know. I saw I, I saw some of the old Especially designs. Especially, like, the old raptor man yeah. uh, designs. Like, yeah. that's weird. It was bad. Kind of looks like something from Star Trek. I'd like to just see, like... like the, uh, lizard guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd really like to see the Jurassic World franchise just kind of move away from the whole idea of hybrids yeah i think that's what they're trying to do now is like i really oh, we hope so got, we already did the hybrid thing let's just go with uh you know dinosaurs on the mainland which should have been the main the setup focus. from the start should have been yeah because it's like okay you had the volcano and all that do we do we really need the indoraptor storyline you know it's like you brought the dinosaurs to the mainland okay go from there yeah no i did a podcast um 
with a friend of mine. It's called Damage Boost Podcast, where we talked about Fallen Kingdom and how we, like, if they could have just completely excluded the uh, the Indoraptor storyline and made it about like, think about this. So they they go on the mission. It, movie's basically the same up until the point where they get back. And instead of going back to um, Lockwood's Lock, estate, instead of taking them back to Lockwood's estate. They take them to a, a, a preserve that Lockwood had already set up. And then you get, like, a group of nature activists, or even Claire's group, that goes, like, renegade. You know, because how she has, like, the Save the Dinosaurs yeah. at the start? They go renegade, come in, and then the dinosaurs break out. Then so, they break the like dinosaurs out. kind of like that event that happened in... Kind of like in it? Lost World. Uh, yeah, but, but also, wasn't that a thing uh, a few years ago in, like, what, North Carolina? When, like, someone, oh, yeah, some nut job went in and, like, broke uh, let all zoo. the lions and tigers out. And yeah, exactly. Fashion. Exactly, and and that that seems like a more believable storyline than having like it would have been uh, a lot m more interesting. Yeah, it would have been a lot more interesting because, because they... I mean, let's be honest, local law enforcement kind of did uh, that with the San Diego yeah incident, and they were way underqualified. Yeah, exactly. So it would have been a really interesting storyline, and you could have completely cut out the hybrids at that point. Bringing another hybrid into it, I think, was just there to try to like sell it. You know, I think you pat they, they patented it, they packaged it, they slapped it on a lunchbox, and then they tried to sell it, and nobody bought. I think if they would have skipped Fallen Kingdom with the hybrid, and then brought it in Dominion, where it's like, okay, it's been uh, a few actual a few years, and Doctor Wu was like, okay, I finally you know narrowed it down to what I want. Yeah, that would have been fine, but them going from you know big white t-rex to little tiny uh black cat looking thing yeah uh and i know they're in the movie this actually supposedly spans over a few years right from you know the opening credits it's like three to, years like, isn't it i think so because it was 2015 because it happens in real time so it was like 2015 to 2018 that, well the um 2015 is when it everything goes to shit yeah they, in 2016, they go back for the fossil. Yeah. And, yeah, so, but, like, 2018, but it doesn't convey that in the film that well. No, it doesn't. Because it seems like they're like, okay, we're going to go right before the uh, we send Claire to the island to get blue in the film. But it's like, no, it's actually, you know, several years before. Or even if you want to have the, the hybrid storyline, you could still have, like, the whole, like, Mr. Monopoly twirling mustache cigar chomping auction happening, but it could be happening on the, on the like the preserve. Like yeah, there was like uh, um, the guy that's running it actually starts selling the animals. Yeah, off. exactly. So it's just ah, uh, but it, the hybrid the, the it's just it's just lazy. That's yeah, that's really what it comes down to. That's pretty much what it is. It's lazy writing. Yeah, it's a scapegoat or. Yeah, it's a scapegoat for uh, the writers to go, hey, let's put some violence here, uh, a little dash there, and not actually put a good story together. Honestly, yeah, I think you're right. So, any final thoughts? Honestly, I think I covered it. I could, like, just kind of keep ranting. Yeah, I know you can, but I'm just <laughs> trying to keep this on a uh, somewhat of a schedule. I know, we've got we've got stuff to do today. So, unless unless you've got final thoughts, I think I'm pretty good. No, I think we're good. You think you covered it? Yeah. So this is Josh. And this is Carl. Signing off. Bye.